Hello, greetings from uh, Hong Ling Park in uh, Singapore. Uh, this is the only place where you're allowed to protest here, surrounded by pro police and cameras, of course. We've been digging through the, um, the box of old footage in relation to um, radiation-free building, and we found some, uh, some interesting stuff to share with you. So what's coming up next is a uh, video about a, um, a small apartment building in which we were involved in um, making the penthouse and one of the apartments um, you know, far healthier in terms of um, putting radiation protection in place. Um, so let's have a look in this video. Um, it's predominantly teaching you uh, also how to apply grounding tape and I'll give a pretty elaborate explanation of it and demonstration. Um, all right, hope you enjoy. There's this concept of electronic pollution. Uh, the problem is that most houses have, because of their wiring and their exposure to cell phone towers, have an enormous amount of radiation exposure. And that's not good for us during the day, but especially at night time is detrimental. If we can reduce what people are exposed to, um, then their health is not as burdened and then their bodies can do what they can to recover. There's an ever increasing amount of mobile phone towers around and we all cop our fair share of exposure to those. Okay, here we are at the uh, building site here in Thailand. So we're going to take some measurements. Very nice overlapping, we need at least an inch. Well, here we are, uh, Dubai, very close to the border with Oman. This instrument measures in microvolts, it measures the body. The externals have all been shielded. So what do you expect of your four walls? Gorgeous apartments being made here in Perth. We're going to be shielding some of those, and uh, we just want to make sure that the tradespeople know exactly yeah, how everything's applied. Now we've got two bedrooms in this apartment, and we've chosen to shield the bedrooms only. And this will be the bedroom area over here, and then the bedroom behind, which will be shielded as well. Okay, first coat is on, now it needs a little bit of drying time, two hours, and then it's uh, time for the grounding tape, and then the second coat. Well, it's drying nicely, see how quickly it dries, we've only just stopped in here. Okay, here we are on the top at the penthouse, and uh, of course the higher we are, the more the view we've got of the surrounding area and the mobile phone towers. So the, the situation here is of course very, very different. Uh, when we take the body measurement, you know, the body measurements up here are far higher um, than they are um, at the back of the property and, uh, and further in. Okay, the next step is to put the grounding tape in place. Now, this particular bedroom, it's nice and straightforward. We're going to start in that corner over there, inside where the door is, all the way around. To this side, inside the row, to the other side, we'll be passing the two power points over there, which just gives us easy access to take the ground into. Underneath the window, very convenient, through this corner, all the way around, and again to the other side of the door. Then here we've got a two-step ceiling. There we go. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to what we're going to do we're going to take the tape from that corner up onto that little lower area and if you can make it out, yep, up to there and then further over the ceiling. So all the panels are 
electrically connected. Okay, so here we've got the grounding tape running down the bottom of the wall. Just hang on a little intersection here, going up. Now you want that tape ideally to be a little bit off center. The electrical wires sit here in the back of the terminal, and so it's nice to have that just move it off the side, not right underneath. Leave the backing on the grounding tape, just tuck that into the cavity of the power, power point. Right. It's okay to give it extra tape, so no one will be cut off later. And then you got your cables here. And if you just secure it, maybe with some uh, with some tape, secure that to the leads. And the electrician has got plenty of tape to work with to connect that to the ground on the back of the power point. Okay, so I hope you found that interesting. Now, with this particular build, and you know, if you're looking at purchasing an apartment yourself. Um, you don't tend to buy the entire building, right? You just buy your apartment. Um, so you can and you should negotiate with your, you know, your sales office as these things are being constructed that either they cooperate and you know, with involvement of myself, incorporate the radiation avoidant measures, or you may be able to negotiate that you are given access to the property. So that's exactly what happened in this house as well. Uh, in case of the apartment, it was the couple that was gonna live there um, retire there. They came in mid-build as it was nearly finished before the painters were due to come and they applied the shielding paint. Uh, I was on site to give them a bit of a hand because it was a larger project with the penthouse involved as well uh, but you can absolutely do this yourself. Um, so yeah don't shy away from that as a possibility as well. So anyway I um, hope you found it interesting. If we can help you uh, please reach out and we'd love to be involved on your project. If you are interested in learning more about radiation-free building to create a healthier home environment from the ground up, then please visit radiationfreebuilding.com.